Hey there strangers, my name's Eos, and welcome back! Once again to Star Wars Battlefront 2, classic 2005 edition. Last time, we fought on the Death Star, and we killed a bunch of rebels like heroes or something. I guess we're just a bunch of monsters, so there is to it. But today, we're going to go on to Polis Massa. Polis Massa? I think I know the name. Uh, birth of the Rebellion. The Death Star plans have been traced to a secret rebel facility hidden in an asteroid field. Cool, so let's go there. I guess it's gonna be a space battle, why not? And away we go with the cutscene! Enjoy one of these as we figure out what's going on. By the time of the raid on Polis Massa, the men of the 501st were starting to get a little sick of the so-called rebellion. Oh, it's this level! Oh, this is a good level! Or two. They kept the troops sharp and the Empire feared. But these rebels were different. Yeah! They were organized. They were growing. Uh oh. And they were everywhere. <gasps> oh no, the, the good guys. Was a perfect Getting stronger. It's terrible. Things were starting to fall apart. We were supposed to go and wipe out a small band of rebels and recover some stolen Imperial plans on an encrypted uh. holodisc. Before we knew it, we were nearly overrun by rebel forces. <gasps> the holodisc nowhere to be found. Oh no, it's so. I mean, you just told me that you don't find the discs, so why am I here? I don't care, I'm gonna go shoot some rebels in the face like a hero. Right, here we go. Ben, Lord Vader wants this raid done by the book. Uh huh. Our first objective is the comm center just beyond this hangar. Cool. Okay, let's do that thing. So, hey, this is actually a pretty cool level. Uh, this is the. Uh, ooh! As far as. I mean, this may be like greater Star Wars canon from, I don't know, the books, which are no longer canon anyway, but you know. Uh, back in the day when this came out, some of the expanded universe or extended universe or whatever it's called, I think the EU, well, the, the Europe, really? No, I guess the uh, expanded universe, I think is what it was called. But um, hey, you see out there? You see all the outside? We can go out there later, which is actually really cool. It's, this is basically like a moon base. We're not on a moon, we're on an asteroid, I guess, because it said we're in an asteroid field. Um, but look at all the dudes! Oh, so many guys! Uh, sorry, I'm just, um, I've played a little bit of the more recent Battlefront, and you cannot get battles even like that big, which is. Like, saying a lot. I mean, I don't know. I mean, granted, I don't fight really dumb AI like that, but I don't know. The sheer number of dudes makes this a lot more fun. Anyway, we're not going to talk about that controversial stuff right now. Um, just got to capture this. So either way, we can actually go outside, and there's, like, multiple spot parts to this base. And while we try to capture this, maybe I can look at the map, and I can show you some stuff. How do I bring up the map? Hey, so you see, it's like a big U shape. And then on both tops, like the tips of the U, you can actually go outside and fight out there in, um in, uh, like, tanks and stuff. It's really neat. We'll probably see that in this level, but hey, that's what I said anyway. Hey, so I got the Elite Rifle awarded. Now it's time to make our way to the base command building on the far side of the facility. Okay. If our intelligence is right, along the way we'll find a Rebel Holodisc containing uh. some very important plans. But you already told me you don't get it. Or, I mean, I, this character did or whatever. Come on, Steve! Stormtrooper Steve, who actually is an old clone, so it should be Clone Trooper Carl or something. Your name is... Your name is uh, Clone Storm Katarl. Katarl Katarl, like from Outlaw Star? No, that's not it. That's not it at all. That's a completely different cannon, which I absolutely love. Either way, let's shoot that. Hey, hey, go go back there and explode if you wouldn't mind. Either way, so I need to let's go get some health real quick. And we're finding some. Hey, hey, how's it going? This is a hovering desk, by the way. I just feel like pointing this out. It's just a hovering desk. I don't know why it's hovering. Maybe that's where they were having their. Their evil rebel plans. Oh no! Having a rebel meeting, they're like, hey, we're gonna rebel all over the place. You guess what? I mean, rebel would actually be the word you. Wow, that's a lot of dudes! Okay, can I go around this? Yes, I can. Okay, so they're gonna fight over there. I'm sure to ignore them and run this way. See, despite the fact that the AI in this game is pretty stinking dumb, you have seen. Oh, hello! I know he's melting me! Uh, he's incinerating me, actually. Hello, yoink! Um, hold on, he's gonna talk real quick, I'm sure. No? No, he's not. Okay, cool. Let's go around everybody. <laughs> um, the, the AI is like dumb as rocks. Dumb as several rocks. Yeah, I don't think I can actually go outside yet. I think I actually have to have a tank, otherwise you just die out here. Do you just die out here? Yes, you do! I'm dying because I'm in space! <laughs> okay, so that- why did you follow me out here? Hold on. Hey, miss. Hey, you. Hey, chill. Oh no! We died like it did! It was steal his health. Thanks. Hit <laughs> a health back on him. Alright, cool. There's a- there's a healing bot over there. I'm just gonna ignore it for now. Run! Run for your life! Clone Trooper Keeve? Starl. Starl. That's a terrible name. I like it. Clone Storm Trooper Starl. Um, I completely forgot what I was talking about. Oh, yeah. The AI is dumb as rocks, but there's so many of them. There's actually still a challenge to this, especially if you have the highest difficulty. Is there they do a lot of damage when they shoot, so it's still a lot of fun, and I like it. I mean, you feel like a badass because you take out so many people before you die. Take time to realign the comm dish and transmit uh -huh. the data from the holodisc. Why don't we just take it and leave? 
I'm just, I'm just saying. Wait. Uh huh. Uh, why are we needing these? I should. Oh no! Oh no! Star will survive. Okay, so okay, I shot my own guy in the back. It's okay. We're killing this guy instead. Um, we we're here to get them. Uh, we're here to keep them from having these, so they can't, you know, attack our um, attack the Death Star. I guess for some reason you can't like just transmit plans. I get. Well, I think what either one of the games or the movies or something explained that the plans were too big to just transmit, or something like that. Um, oh, I guess they did that in Rogue One, which is way later. But either way, you, so you can't transmit, that's why they put him in R2-D2 and send him over and like, hey, here's some really important information, you should totally like, you know, hold on to this. Um, so why don't we just destroy it? Right now we're trying, we're actually trying to transmit it right now. Maybe we have a, a stronger relay dish than the Rebels did. But, like, don't send, we're like, hey guys, we're gonna send it out, and then the physical copy will still be right here. I'm just saying, also, what is that? Was that, was that a plan of, oh, that's the wrong, no, guys, I'm sorry, it's the wrong button, oh, no, let's try to do this, look at that, what is that, is that, a, is that some sort of droid, wait, why is that on there, I don't even know, what's this plan of, is that this, no, that's, is that like the Jedi Temple, I don't know, it's over here, what's this one, I know there's stuff going on, hold on, um, that's a circle, wow, look at that, is that the Death Star, it might be the Death Star, Death Star's basically a giant circle, Ew, it's actually a sphere, anyway, it's a 3D circle, that's what it is, how is Starl still alive? Oh, I shot my own guy, I think. I don't even know. I don't even care. They're just, they're just, they're just stormtroopers. Even if I'm on the stormtrooper side, I don't care about stormtroopers. I'm just saying, I must be a monster. Somebody fix this. Hello? Somebody, okay, fine. I'll do it. Starl will take up the mantle of being an engineer for just a moment to fix this thing over here. Hey, there we go. Fix it crazy fast. Which I think is pretty funny and amusing and cool. Oh, hold on. Go back over here. Starl, you gotta be here to listen to his commands as he's gonna give them to us right about now. Well then, whatever. Uh, we'll get there eventually. Don't worry about it. Hello? Yeah, there they are. Of this complex. The rebels uh -huh. have a data bank that holds imperial <coughs> encryption codes mm -hmm. that can be used to eavesdrop on our oh. ship to ship communication. I thought that was one of theirs. Make My bad. He's gone into a door the data bank. Uh -huh. So we, so we transmitted stuff, it took us like an hour to transmit, and then I guess they immediately transmitted something back. They're like, hey, they've got more information somewhere. I mean, granted, they they might, maybe we need to send, I was gonna say that a minute ago. Maybe they had to send that stuff off so that we could, like, they could analyze it and be like, hey, they've got copies somewhere. We need to know what exactly they knew so we know how to prevent against it. Except that we never bothered to actually prevent against it because that giant air vent, oh no, he's jittering, he's, 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 he's juking and jiving, but way too fast, so it doesn't actually matter. Um, it's, it, it, I don't know. <laughs> they didn't fix it. There was a giant air vent that went straight to the reactor core that blew everything up. And they just left it there. Goodbye. Hello. Yeah, you called a grenade. It was, in fact, a grenade that exploded you. Grab this health. Thank you. I actually like the old school gaminess of some of the guys. Just drop health. Because why not? Oh, no. Oh, don't shoot. Shmeev. Whatever his name was. Starl? Yeah, it was Starl. I remember the name of Starl. Starl, the terribly named Storm Clone Trooper. He's about to die, though. Try to keep Star alive if I can. There's a gonk, which means there's health over here. Yeah, they're always together. Maybe it's maybe on different sides of the room, but they're always there. Do I, hi there. Hello. You're not really paying attention, are you? Here, have a grenade. Enjoy that grenade while I go buy another grenade out of that machine over there. Hello? 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 No, okay, don't worry about it. I'm just going this way. Don't mind me. Run! Run, Starl! I'm just gonna... His name is Starl. It's, it's Cannon. The canonical name of the clone stormtrooper that saves the day of the evil, horrible empire. His name is Starl. Starl the monster, because he's fighting on the wrong side. I mean, he was cloned and he was brainwashed upon birth for years, so he doesn't know any better. Also, he's a clone that's like now like 20 or 30 years old, which means he should be like ancient because they had the accelerated growth and stuff going on. And it's not, oh no, so Starl, no! Well, who cares? He's a cold trooper. <laughs> um, but you might be saying, but Neos, um, a thing that I, I completely forgot my train of thought. Oh no, what was I talking about? <laughs> I was so, I was so distraught about Star. I mentioned the last episode, which I recorded right before this. I just woke up. I, like, I woke up and I'm like, I'm gonna record some Star Wars Battlefront. And then, you know, and then things happen. And then I'm me. So like my, my memory's terrible and I'm bad. Hey, are you follow me? No, he's not. They only follow you if you're carrying stuff. I'm not sure. I don't know how to make a squad, like, squad up and stuff. Either way. Oh, no! It's a guy. Oh, we're using the weird... Uh, I don't know what this is. Sonic rifle or something? Sonic pistol? Oh, no. Oh, that did, like, nothing. I shot you in the face. It fires so slow. It does so... Like, it does okay damage. But it's, like, so slow, it doesn't matter. Either way, I need to go down there. Cannot break through that window, because that would be crazy. Who could possibly break through a window with a gun? That's insane. 
Either way, do that. I think I could probably use my little... I got a little, uh... This guy basically can cause, like, damage to people. Oh, we've got a grenade launcher. Let's use that. It still explodes very slowly, but hey! Oh, no, it doesn't. I thought it... Oh, I hit... I think if you fire, it doesn't hit anybody. It takes a little while. But if you hit dudes, it explodes. There we go. That's a fun unit to use. I, just, I always tend to either use the snipers, the guys who have Gatling guns when you uh, unlock those, and, um... I think it's only the Cloden Wars era, era, era. Wow, there was words in there somewhere, I'm sure. Um, plastic Boy? Did you say Plastic Boy? What is it? I mean, like, what? Okay, like, oh, no. DC superhero Plastic Man. His son named Plastic Boy. The lamest of all the superheroes. But apparently it's super powerful because he can control himself into anything. It's not the points. I, I'm... I'm a nerd of many mediums. I don't really read comic books, but I find the characters super interesting. So watching the old, like, you know... Uh, Justice League and Superman and Batman cartoon shows or, you know, anime movies and stuff. Those are good. <laughs> like, live action movies or not. But the anime stuff was pretty good. I fired that back because my finger slipped. My finger slipped and I fired a grenade. Because that's how, um, I feel like war would be bad with that sort of thing. Like, oh, you shot Steve. What are you doing? Sorry, my finger slipped. Uh, why, why does he sound like a redneck? I don't know. I'm, I'm from the south. I can use his accent. Don't worry about it. Okay, let's explode, and boom! Yeah, take that, did I die? No, I killed some dudes, though. Hi, ah, okay, I'm stuck back here. Boom! And, oh, okay, so it's not hitting dudes, so it's not exploding immediately. I would like another one of those things real quick. Yeah, skunk droid, save me. Gunk droid, gunk, gunk droid. Don't come over here, you. I hear that guy, I, I saw that guy, I didn't hear him. I, I heard him with my eyes. Here we go, take that, it's not exploded yet. Uh, boom! Oh, oh, hi, boom! No, don't come closer, I'm using an explosive. Oh no, I can't stop it. Oh no. <laughs> I'm the best of this of the army, which is why we lose in the end. <laughs> Run away. Okay, so let's just send this up here, because you can float, yes! And then do it like this, and cheat! Hello, it's the cheat. Boom, I didn't, I killed Nom Carver. That's a weird name, your name is Nom? Do, do you like chewing on things in a cartoonish fashion going nom nom? Oh no! Oh, stop killing me. I'm trying to be amusing, but I'm failing because I'm dying. Okay, so that did like no damage. I thought it did like half damage the first time I saw that. Oh no, I'm st I can't go around that. There's an invisible wall. No! Oh, you invisible wall to me. How could you? Okay, so I think who has thermal detonator, thermal detonator, mines. Oh, not mines. Um, health pack. Uh, rage increase. <laughs> no, no, damage increase. Rage damage increase. There you go. Uh, does they, none of them have, like, um, a mine I could put down. Like, there's this kind of mine, but it's not like a, a thermal debt. No, debt pack is what I'm wanting. Yeah, just... debt pack! There we go. That's what I want. Why are you so far away? It's on the other side of the freaking complex. I gotta walk back every time. That's fine, though. Is it, though? I don't know. Oh, no! Oh, I've got a shotgun! I've got a shotgun! If you wouldn't mind eating this in the face. Yeah, I don't know what these green ones do. Oh, is that, is that heals? Is that regen? Is that shield? I don't know. I have no idea. Well, what do you say we go this way? Uh, I'm so good at this. I don't, I like, I don't, I'm not like, I'm not the best at the video games. I, I don't think I'm that bad. I mean, where's, did I see the, where, where's the like, can't you, no, I don't know how to see the like points. I can't see the points. Um, or the score as it were. Uh, but you know, I have fun. I like, and I like, I like to think that me having, like, hold on, I cleared my throat. <clears> throat> there we go. <laughs> it started to sound weird because my throat was just being like, nope. Um, I don't know. I have a lot of fun with these, and I hope you guys enjoy, like, just someone who loves this sort of stuff showing it off. I know I, that personally, I like that sort of thing when it's somebody just, like, totally nerding out about something that they know, not just being like, oh, man, it's so cool all the time. Um, but, like, you know, giving some, you know, information. Like, hey, I know about this this game or the series and you know let me tell you about why I love it and that sort of thing that's what I try to oh that's the wrong spot that's what I try to do I, I may fail at it if I do I apologize but I just try to share my love of things and try to make uh, videos as entertaining as I can and wow that was powerful hey there we go objective complete got good news and bad news yay the good news is it's time to get off this dreary rock yeah the bad news is the rebels have taken over the hangars no we'll have to fight our way out yeah that seems like two good newses I'll find my way out, otherwise this would be a very boring game. I'm just saying. All right, so, oh, wait, I get to, I think I get to go out into, into the space. We get to go out into space land. I just gotta go, do it, can I do it from that side? Let's find out. You might have to go around, oh, no. Oh, it's a Wookiee. Look out, Chewbacca is here. There we go. Is it wrong that I call them all Chewbacca's? If this was reality, yes. And if it was, I wouldn't do that. Also, I wouldn't be shooting them because they're the heroes. Um, but it's a video game, so it's funny. 
All right, let's go over here. Don't mind me. Let's grab some of this and <gasps> what's that? I get, would, uh, you just smack your head. Uh, um, whatever. Dark Trooper, D uh, Darius. I don't know. I can't think of another D. D uh, Daryl, Darius, Dan. D uh, uh, there's other names. Either way, here we go, and on we go into space. Yay! We're out in space now. So you can actually just fight out here. Like when you're playing this in the like skirmish mode, there's just three entrances, I think. Yes. So you just go out here and you can fight other dudes. Unfortunately, they don't seem to, you know, be paying attention and being out here themselves. You actually see dudes in there. Oh, it's so cool! Look at that! There's still, I can't shoot them, but there's still there's dudes in there. It's super cool. I'm actually a little disappointed there's nobody out here. <laughs> Is this the? Yeah, it's this one. All right, cool. I'll, just, I'll guess I'll just go out here. Go in here. Don't mind me. Hello, can I fire in here? I can. Oh, there's somebody in my turret. Oh, that's amazing. So unlike the uh, the space battles where you can't fire inside, you can totally fire the tank inside. Nobody cares. Well, I mean, they care because I'm blowing them up. But hey, let's go. Can I go second? Yeah. I'll fire from up here. Boom and boom. Hi, everybody. Does this have its own? No, it's just firing these things. And we have a lot of health. We're not hitting anybody. Fire. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the Wookiee took a rocket to the face and it was beautiful. All right. Let's go around here. Don't worry about it. I'm just having a lot of fun. It's it's cool. I'm just I'm murdering all these poor defenseless Wookiees. Oh no! Right in the back of the head. Oh no! Right in the front of the face. Oh no! Oh the Wookiee Pocaster. That should have just cut me in half. Anyway, don't worry about it. I'm using amazing armor of whatever this goofy helmet is. This this is the guy that like oh no that hits the Death Star control button switch to fire it. Uh, in the movies, it, this is the, I don't, the only time you ever see this helmet is when they're like fire the Death Star. It's like okay sir, I'll fire the Death Star. I'm trying not to die. Don't no. Oh no. Oh that's the wrong place for that. I'm gonna blow that. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I got war hero out of that. It's I'm a war hero, guys. Don't worry. I may have exploded everything. It's fine. Let's use a rocket launcher because that's the wrong choice. But I feel like switching it up. Just a smidge. Is there a sniper? Are you a sniper? You're a very bad sniper. Just, I mean, I'm a bad rocket launcher, but that was a very slow rocket, in all fairness. Hold on. <laughs> Don't mind me. Stand there. Stand there and take my rocket to the face, please. It would, it would make me happy if I could rocketeer you in the face. No, oh, no. Oh, rocketeer him in the wall. Yeah, take that. So the splash damage, as I mentioned many times, is not as good as it was in previous games, but if you get it really close, you still can't take down one guy. Versus, ah, the last game, I think you just fire into a group and, like, blow up everybody, which is way unbalanced, but, you know, when I'm playing single player against bots, I don't want... But, well, sometimes I do. Sometimes balance is fun. Sometimes it's fun to just run in and wreck everybody, uh, which this might be good for. Yeah, sure. I was gonna go with the sniper, but I think this might be a good choice for hitting multiple dudes at once. So let's do that thing. Hey, hey, there we go. I was trying to... I wasn't sure if this would keep charging if I was jetpacking. I was gonna try not to... If I hold this down, as an auto-fire? No! Cool. Okay, so let's just jump jet over here, and then zap! Take that, Chupacabra! That's not... You say you're gonna stop calling them all Chewies, then you call them a Chupacabra, which is a completely different thing! No! Invisible guy who's got a, a, an incinerator gun is what that is. Ah! Take that! That that guy's a spy. Talk about Team Fortress 2 now. Sure, why not? <laughs> let's talk about other... But almost equally... Wow. I just realized that. This game is now 12 years old. I think Team Fortress 2 is like 10. I mean, that game looks quite a bit better. I'm <laughs> just like... But, I, but in all fairness, I like this game more. But that's just me and my Star Wars nerditude. And actually, this is just a really good game. I, I hope very, very much that I have shown you guys that this is an amazing game, even 12 years later. It's kind of the point of me showing this off. Uh-huh. Yes! Her name is Princess Leia, and she's gonna cause the downfall of... I was gonna say the rebellion of the Empire! Because of, you know, plot convenience. But hey, that's totally fine with me. Let's watch this cutscene right here. Even oh no! Mass raid was only a partial success. Uh -huh. We finally had a lead on the whereabouts of the Death Star plans. Hooray! It's so there. First, just <gasps> fine. I just remember we get to fight on that ship. Oh, and it's, a, it's actually a pretty good level, but hey, there we go. So this has been more Star Wars Battlefront 2 Classic 2005 Edition. Back for the PS2 era. It was the PC version, which it should be obvious. It's playing at 60 frames a second, 1080p, and I love it. Apparently, somebody pointed out when you're playing these sorts of games on a like faster computer like this, it's a lot harder because the AI and stuff can react faster. Which I didn't realize, but... Yep. More challenge! I'm cool with that. I mean, I still killed 73 people who died four times. I think that was still a pretty good success to me. But I think we're to end this here because this episode is already going to be about 20 minutes long. And I think that is a good length for an episode. So for now, I hope you guys enjoyed some more crazy space nonsense. Take care! And I will see you next time!